Hey everyone, you know, for as long as I can remember, the go-to advice with saving for retirement has been to save your money in pre-tax accounts because once you stop working, your tax rate will likely be lower than it was when you were still working. But is there a possibility this may not be the way that it works out? And does it make sense to look at a version of your retirement plan that assumes tax rates will increase? Now, I know that goes against conventional wisdom, but if you followed my channel for a while, you know that I'm not too worried about challenging the groupthink that seems to be so prevalent in the financial planning industry. And the longer I look at where we are now on tax rates versus where we've been historically, the more convinced I am that we need to at least examine some of the strategies that could benefit you if tax rates do increase. Now, this is where I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments before we get too far into this. Do you think tax rates are going to increase? So let me show you some of the tax rate data that my team and I have been looking at in some of the planning cases that we've been doing. First, let's look at tax rates today. That's 2023, if you're looking at this at some point in the future. Let's assume that your adjusted gross income is about $120,000. Now, I find that's a fairly typical AGI for a lot of the retirement planning cases we do where the client says that, hey, I'd like to get between seven and 9,000 in net income per month. Now let's take that same $120,000 and adjust it backwards for inflation. And we're not gonna to get too fancy with this. We're just adjusting it based on the annual changes to the consumer price index. Now, if we take that back to 1980, that's about $30,000. So wait, $30,000 income in 1980 is equivalent to $120,000 income today. You know, if we stop the video right here, I think this is still a valuable lesson about the power of inflation and how you have to prepare for that in your retirement income planning. But I know today we're looking at taxes, so let's get back into that. So with that amount of income, how would the effective tax rates have changed over that period on the same level of inflation adjusted income? Well, let's look at today first. And keep in mind, this is federal taxes only. So we're not looking at state taxes or if some of the income is coming from work, there's no FICA taxes calculated in either. So today, if you have $120,000 in adjusted gross income, your average tax rate is around 12%. But if we time travel with that same $120,000 and adjusting for inflation, we find that today's tax rate is actually the sweetest deal you would have gotten in the last four decades. For a good chunk of those years, the average tax rate would have been around 18%. Again, that's for the same level of inflation adjusted income. And if we go back before 1980, the rates were even higher. And in some of those years, they were much higher. So I think it's easy to establish that we are at historically low rates right now. But the reason that taxes could go up in the future isn't just because we're at historically low rates now on taxes. It's actually this odd combination of low tax rates and astronomically high federal spending. The simple truth is, Taxes are not generating enough in revenues to cover the spending. For example, in 2022, the federal government spent $6.3 trillion, and they had revenues of $4.9 trillion. Now, this has been going on for a while, and the national debt has accumulated up to $32 trillion, and that's almost $100,000 for every single person in the United States. And the interest cost alone is $1.8 billion per day. That's not sustainable. Either spending has to get cut drastically or revenues through taxes have to increase. That's just the simple math. So the big question is, what should you do? Should you do anything? Well, I'm not a big advocate of basing big retirement planning decisions on reading the tea leaves and interpreting the output of my crystal ball. Even if all the dots are getting connected to look like higher taxes in the future, I still think we have to plan based on what we know now, but maybe start examining some of the alternate scenarios to see how things would look if taxes do go up. For example, if you look at a Roth conversion and determine it doesn't make sense based on today's tax rates, well, maybe you should examine that based on a future average tax rate that's five, six, or 7% higher. And I can tell you that's gonna change the numbers drastically. Ultimately, I do think it's likely that future tax rates are going to be higher, but it's always a gamble 
to make significant financial decisions based on uncertainties. If tax rates do rise and your income comes from a Roth conversion, that may be a decision that you're going to be happy you made. But on the flip side, if rates stay steady, you might find out that you paid some unnecessary extra taxes. So at the end of the day, I would not use future tax increases as an isolated factor to drive the decision. But I do think that now it should be one of the pieces of information that you use to come to a final conclusion about your overall retirement plan, whether or not that includes Roth conversions. And if you want some help in getting that data, there's a link down below where my team and I can help you run multiple scenarios to test out how tax increases could affect you and a lot of other stuff too. Just look down in the description for that link. Thank you for watching.